Hi, and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you with this in the world. And I'm back in Thailand. And I'm noticing straight away, having had eight weeks in the UK, that as much as I love the UK and as much as I feel like I'm a Brit and um, I love being with my friends and my family and my loved ones, it's quite hard sometimes, quite difficult to process everything that we do to ourselves as Europeans, as Brits, living in the UK. We think we are so clever, we think we are so civilised and sophisticated that we tend to look at countries like Thailand and Vietnam and Korea and Laos and other places as being third world countries and yet the way they live I'm learning so much witnessing it. One of the things I'm witnessing is how simple it is here and how much of a rat race it can be in the UK. That's a choice but we are under pressure to achieve to be successful and I'm a goal setter and a goal getter and in the first part of my life I was striving to accumulate now I'm striving to simplify. There's a wonderful saying by Thoreau um, who said, simplify, simplify, simplify. Just keep it simple. You don't have to have more, do more. You can be more, but you don't have to do anything. You can just be said this before that we are human beings we don't have to be human doings we certainly don't have to be human stressings and some of us we don't have to be human workings when you've got enough you don't need more you don't need a bigger car or a bigger telly the latest phone you might want it but you don't need it and quite often we sacrifice our health our happiness our relationships our peace of mind to acquire things that we don't need we have so many things around us that we have to maintain if we just let it go it can be just uncomplicated and there's another saying that uh, by Rumi uh, who was um, fifth century sage philosopher who said something like um, sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment let go of your cleverness, embrace wonder, magic, like a child who can play with a box, never mind the toy in the box, and the box we're using in the imagination becomes anything. And with our imaginations, we tend to complicate everything. We, 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 we regret the past, we're anxious about the future, we worry, we use our clever brains in ways that don't serve us. And if we just simplify everything and unclutter our lives and simplify our lives and unclutter our brains and simplify our thinking by just thinking about what we want and keeping our mind off what we fear and getting people around us who love and support us and respect us and get rid of people who are negative, who give us all these problems, these things that we complain about, we don't have to be around them. We don't have to be around negative people. We don't have to be involved with politics if politics annoys us. We don't have to watch programmes that frustrate us. Turn them off. Walk away from people. Be on your own is better than being with people that annoy you. We don't have to be in these relationships that don't make us happy. And yet, quite often, we're so invested in them because we're frightened of loss. But to me, hanging on to something that's long past its sell-by date and being in a job for a third of your life third of your day really isn't it you know you're 24 hours and you go to work for eight hours sometimes more and then you sleep and then you just got such a short time to yourself and you're so unhappy and it's killing you quite often killing your mind killing your personality killing your happiness killing your health literally shortening your life with all the stress chemicals that it's released into your body just you don't need it you know I don't know what the laws are in certain parts of the country, but it would be really good if we could turn our suburban homes into self-supporting habitats. In other words, instead of having a lawn that we had a, an allotment really, and we grew 
stuff that we could eat organically. I know here in Thailand, pretty much the only thing that needs to be bought is a bit of protein, a bit of fish, although we've got fish, a bit of chickens and pork and lamb or something. The herbs come off the land, the fruit comes off the land, the spices come off the land. Um, the whole of society leaves you having to pay back. You work very hard, it's hard to get the money, but the money goes very quickly through your hands because it's so expensive to live in the UK. Unless you organise yourself, what we tend to do is we tend to organise ourselves to make it more complicated. We're always in debt. The whole system is designed to keep you in slavery, in debt, taxes, loans, borrowing. The word mortgage, the Latin, the etymology is mortgage, it's death grip. <laughs> the government know what they're doing. We don't have to have big fancy houses, you just have to have a house with the bed. You don't have to have a massive telly, you can have something that's nice. You don't have to get yourself into uh, debt. I don't actually owe anything to anybody. I did as a younger man, but my father taught me to save up and buy it when you could afford it and to hang on to things. If something works, if it's not broke, it doesn't need fixing and it doesn't need changing. You don't have to keep up with the fashion. The fashion is just society trying to get you to consume more. It's, you know, work, consume, die. It shouldn't be like that. If you just simplify and you take pleasure from simple things, enjoying looking at things, experiencing things, tasting things, feeling things, hearing things. You don't have to continually be buying things and sampling things and judging things. Keep it simple. Keep it fun. And it's the best advice I can give you. I mean, families here who they go out, it would be totally legal in the UK, three or four on a motorbike, that's a family day out. So happy going back to homes that are so humble, but they're so happy. And we seem to think that money equals happiness, or status equals happiness, things equal happiness, and we've got that completely wrong. Smiling is happiness, feeling safe and comfortable is happiness, having positive relationships, positive people, friendships around you is happiness. Being respected and showing respect and honesty is happiness, integrity is happiness. So I think you're getting the picture. So simplify, declutter, and stop being so clever. Start being more childlike, not childish, but childlike. Go and splash in a few puddles, go and kick a few leaves, go and get yourself an ice cream and take your shoes and socks off and walk in the sea. Play with your kids more. Laugh more. When was the last time you had a really good laugh? When was the last time you had a really good laugh with your partner, with your kids, at work? Do things that make you happy. That's what's important. We're here in this five sensory reality. Physical incarnation. You're a long time dead. And we're here to enjoy it. And I hope you do. And if I can help you, you know where I am. My name is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com.